Hey guys, a uh, new video for Battle of Exile. So this video we're going to go over, uh, this kind of like day three, I guess, build diary. diary. It was kind of busy, day one, day two. I actually didn't really get to play a lot on day two. Uh, so we couldn't really make any videos, but uh, we did make the uh, starter armor stacker on the Scion, uh, running the Dorianis uh, prototype build. Uh, and we're going to go over uh, how the build is. And at this point, we're level uh, 75. And I swapped over at level 74, and we'll kind of go over what it would look like when you actually swap over from like like your leveling build, right? Because I think a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, but um, I get a lot of questions about how do you swap over, and a lot of people try it and it doesn't really work out. Or uh, And it is kind of clunky in the beginning because obviously you don't have a lot of points to do everything, but um, this I'll just kind of go over in this video how I'm doing it, right? Okay, so I don't even have my, my full uh, Ascendancy yet. We're still on like three. I gotta go do Uber Lab. But you do need your first three Ascendancies uh, to start off with. Uh, and then uh, you do need uh, about level 74. Uh, level 74 uh, because, uh, well, level 72 you can use your level 21 Purity of Ice. But at level 74 you'll have enough points to like put all your reservation in. And maybe one left over if you need decks because my amulet uh, kind of uh, is really low on decks. So um, I think, yeah, just farm to level 74. If you do like Hollow Palm, you should be able to do maps like white maps to a level 74, no problem. Okay, so you can see my tree. Basically, I have everything in and I just haven't specced into these introspection nodes. I'm not specking into the aura effect yet because mainly I just want to get all of my auras online. So uh, as I'm leveling up now, I'll just start filling in all of the aura effect or like all of these reservation nodes. Once I get all the reservation nodes, then I can run all my auras. Now you see I'm actually running uh, almost all of my auras except for precision. And uh, since I'm leveling, I'm not using wrath. I'm just using the haste aura to level because uh, it, it's a lot faster, right? The character is kind of slow um, because also because my boots are like 20% movement speed boots. I should probably buy a new pair because it's kind of slow. Uh, and then I'm also not using the Ruby Flask uh, because I don't really need it in maps. Uh, it's mainly for Simulacrum uh, to cat overcap your fire resistance for like curses and that kind of stuff. But in maps, um, just use a movement speed flask probably. Okay, so that is uh, the how I'm kind of leveling the character. Um, I decided to go with the Smite of Divine Judgment uh, for now. And... Um, Ideally, I did. I would like to have another red socket here, but I corrupted my chest before I colored it, so it kind of screwed right now. But I guess it's not really the end of the world. Um, and this time around, running the Soul Ascension gloves, because I think these are going to be really big in Simulacrum because, you know, we lost a lot of attack speed. Uh, attack speed is also gone from flask suffixes. You can't roll that. So uh, getting the Soul Leader is going to be pretty big, I think. Um, okay, so also I'm using the String of Servitude because if we look right now at my resistances, uh, we, we're like barely there, right? So if I used my other belt, the um, Mortal Flesh, I'm actually probably not going to have enough, um, what do you call it, resistance to actually run the belt and have not, uh, you know a good amount of resistance. So for now, String of Servitude. Other than that, the gear is pretty much everything like I recommended uh, in the starter POB. Uh, except I guess I guess the gloves too, right? Um, originally I was gonna go with Shaper's Touch, but um, I just wanted to get the Soul Leader stacks because they are pretty fun. All right, so uh, let's go over. Uh, let's see, we went over some of the gear. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, why don't we run a quick map so you can kind of see what it looks like? I mean, it's not gonna be pretty, guys, but until we level up, uh, it's kind of uh, we just have to kind of deal with it. So let's see if we have a map. All right, you can run cemetery. Let's do this. Uh, reduced effect on curse auras. All right, should not be a problem. So I'm still like getting used to all my keybinds because now that we don't have this like grace aura, it's um, a little bit awkward to play. Because I'm kind of used to you know um, pressing the grace aura. It's like muscle memory at this point. So now I just don't know what to press, right? <laughs> I guess I do have the war cry, and I'm noticing this like war cry is like super slow. If you see, it's like pretty slow to go off. So maybe that will get better as I level the gem up. A lot of my gems are still like level one. So oh, I pushed it again. 
So maybe that'll get better with like gem levels and that kind of stuff, but um, it is really slow. I guess you maybe you do need the like urgent orders uh, gem for it to be good, but we'll see. All right, so let's go like kill the boss. I do actually want to kill like a lot of mobs too because I want to get like experience, and my hit rating is probably really bad. So sometimes it might just seem like I'm not doing any damage. Alright, so hopefully the boss doesn't kill me. Let's use the fall haste. Wait, what, what button is it? There we go. There we go. Pretty easy. So you can see, even though with this scuffed setup, this is like totally enough to go clear your atlas and level up to like, what, level 90 maybe. And then by level, I'd say like by level 90 or so, once you have all of your stuff running, you can probably go jump into some alacrums. You can have gear, like the same kind of gear as this, right? All right, so that's the map. Uh, let's just get out of here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just see if we forgot anything. Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so that'll be for this video, guys. Uh, kind of quick, but uh, we do have a lot of work to do. We're going to be leveling up in the maps. Um, probably trying to hit like level 92-ish, and then I'll probably jump into some lacrums, and we'll see how it goes from there. But that's going to be for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.